Hey, what's going on guys? This is Raja from OTR Gaming TV and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a major update on the crew that's going to be happening this year. So doing some research, um, Ubisoft have released some information saying that they are going to be releasing new cars and I'm going to tell you what they are right now. So the new cars will only be new police cars so we've got the following police lineup over the next few months. So they're not going to be released straight away, they're going to be released over a few periods in this year the first new police car is the mclaren 12c gt3 as you can see the picture below it's basically the mclaren only police version i'm definitely gonna get that the second new car that will be released is the ferrari 458 italia gt2 also circuit version of the police spec we have got the ruf rt35 as a dirt spec so the, basically the Porsche if you haven't seen it don't worry I'll show you a picture right now the fourth newest car is the Mini Cooper S2010 that's also a circuit car as you can see the picture below that looks quite nice and as a, for those of you who actually own the Mini you guys know that the Mini is pretty fast so definitely gonna buy that and oh my god I can't believe I'm seeing this they're releasing the 2013 Lotus X Siege S as a dirt police vehicle. Now I own the Lotus X Siege and it's bloody fast for a perf car. So I might actually be buying it for a dirt car as a police car. I don't really use dirt police cars to be honest apart from when they're in the mission. But in the chases I don't really use dirt police cars. I normally stick to perf or circuit. But I am going to be um, creating a video for you to show you what cars we use. Like a top 5 car for the best police cars to use in chases. Anyway, moving on. The next newest car to be added is the Ford GT 2005, also a circuit spec. Now look at the pictures guys, Like these are real pictures taken from the site. They look amazing. I'm liking the way that Ford looks. Now the new, the um, in this update, the, these are not just new cars. There will be more things as well. So going through the research, I found that you know the bounty system that they've been talking about. They'll be actually making that live. So this is how the bounty system will be used. It's basically the more chases that you win, like whether you're a street racer or a police, the more money you get. So the bounty will go up and down as you win or lose chases. At launch, everyone will start with the same bounty rate, which is around 8250. So 8250 would be the would be the default bounty that everybody starts off with. But it can increase until 16,500 and may go down after a lot of losses to zero. So basically that means if you keep losing your chases as a street racer, obviously your bounty will go down. If you're losing police chases so if you're a police person if you're a police officer trying to you know take down the street races from getting the crate delivered and you, you keep failing your bounty will also go down but that doesn't mean you won't earn zero money i think it'll just mean like that's extra bonus i think the bounty is an extra bonus to the money that you can win two separate bounties will coexist one for street races and one for the police again the amount's going to vary depending on your winners and losses Another new thing that will be included in this update is the league for police and street racers. So similar to how there's leagues for PVPs, there will be leagues for police and street racers. So two new leagues will be introduced for police and street racers and will be divided into four categories. Players will be able to climb the ladder of each one, police and street racer, from fourth division to one. There isn't subdivisions like there is in PVP, so it will just be like four, then you know, three and two, then one. And that's it so from four i think is bronze third is silver second is gold and first is platinum but it's not subdivisions where you know it's four three two one then you move to the next one and then four three two one and you move on to the previous not like that that's that's what i'm getting anyway according to this information it says while classic pvp leagues have subcategories these leagues will not have subdivisions your ranking will be displayed during chases as well as in your profile id and other players will be able to see yours and know who they're dealing with which is a good thing actually i'm going to show you the picture below what i mean by it 
Yeah, you can see you've got PvP League, Crew League, Chase Leagues and Cop League. And um, one final thing that's going to be updated is the Summit. Instead of having monthly cars, they're going to do it weekly so you can win a car every week. Yeah, so the Summit, you win cars every week instead of every month. Um, more details will be basically players will be earning ES key points at a higher rate. I think that's the extreme kit ones. And it says extreme spec tokens have been removed and will no longer be earned from the weekly and monthly Wheel of Fortune. Starting in 2017, the summit will be rewarded playing. Will be, sorry. Starting in 2017, the summit will be rewarding players with existing vehicles, live lineup from the game. We will soon be giving more details regarding the additional change in coming soon to the summit. What else is updated? Um, there's quite a lot of update in this actually. Yeah. Additional updates include chases. So it says we'll be, they will be applying changes to the chase invite system in, in order to improve the balance between police and street races. The number of police AI will be tweaked in order to scale with the amount of participating players in each chase. So the more people that are in that are races basically, the more AI will be that will be included. That's what I'm getting from that anyway. They also updating the abilities. They said they're saying that not many of the abilities have been used as much as they like. So I think people are only using a certain amount of abilities. Like me personally, I'm using unlimited nitro EMP. I'm not really using a lot of flashbang or any of that. So I think they're going to try and tweak that. And uh, they're going to bring adjustments to the less impactful abilities for both police and street races. And their aim is to ensure that players can pick any ability and still have the same chances of winning all whilst, all whilst enjoying the experience to the fullest. So yeah, I think the, the abilities that nobody really uses is going to be, you know, evened out so everyone has a winning chance. <coughs> So yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's actually a lot more changes. There's additional changes. They're gonna display all the bronze crates on the default tab of the menu. There's gonna be a lot of bug fixes. I'll, I'll give you a little screenshot of what that is so you can read it for yourself. So the last one that I'm reading, the PVP ranking, because every time I start my game, it says I'm, I'm bronze four. So when I enter a PVP and I win a race, or even if I lose a race, it says I'm platinum one, which I actually am, I'm platinum one driver but i start off racing with you know bronze guys so they're going to try fix that up and as you can see it says please keep in mind that these changes aren't final and may be updated before the implementation so guys massive update coming through massive massive update coming through guys the first new car we're going to see is the mclaren it's gonna be updated on the 25th of january so this month we're going to get that new car Stay tuned for more updated video of the crew and any other game, to be honest, that we play. Um, if you like this video and you found it informative, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed already and you're watching this, please do subscribe. And stay tuned for more, guys, and see you guys in the next video. Peace. Go, 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 go,